us also we deal with the problem of discounting so let's consider case of continuous task now in a continuous task there is no terminal state okay so when we take the return then we sum up all the rewards that we can get in upcoming states so this may go to infinity okay this is summation over all k from 0 to infinity or t plus k plus 1 okay so this can go to infinity therefore what we do is we take a discounting parameter so here comes the discounting and first I will mention for the continuous task so in this case the return is summation over all rewards that an agent can get in the upcoming states so this is summation over all rewards this R T plus K plus 1 and uh, this multiplied with gamma so the sequence R T plus 1 plus gamma times R T plus 2 plus gamma square plus gamma cube uh, so we can represent it in this form so what is the physical interpretation of discounting uh, the physical interpretation of discounting is that it represents the present value of the future reward suppose we are uh, navigating an autonomous vehicle and we assign a reward of plus 10 for reaching the goal point and reward of 0 for the intermediate states that is in between the goal point and the starting location so suppose we assign a reward of plus 10 to reach a goal point and the subsequent intermediate rewards are 0 so if suppose the vehicle is taking 10 steps and we assign gamma equal to 0.1 then the return that an agent will get will be around 0.1 to the power 10 multiplied by 10 so, and suppose the agent uh, reaches a goal point just 5 steps so the reward so the return will be 0.1 to power 5 times 10 so as we can see the gamma represents the present value of the future reward so by assigning the temporal constraints or a reward to a terminal state or the goal point we can make an agent reach the goal point or achieve the goal point as soon as possible so now let us consider case of episodic task and now we are introducing discounting and episodic task as well so in case of episodic task uh, we can represent this return in the sum rt plus 1 plus gamma times rt plus 2 up to this okay so we can represent this equation in a compact form the summation of all k from 0 to t gamma k rt plus k plus 1 so uh, now we are having two notations one for discounting uh, one for discounting in continuous task and another one for discounting episodic task but uh, uh, suppose we want a unified notation or a unique notation to represent both the continuous as well episodic task so we generally introduce an absorbing state so we define a spatial terminal state in case of episodic task such that the terminal state will tr will make a transition to itself and we will assign a reward of zero for this transition uh, so we introduce a new terminal state uh, that will make transition to itself continuously and we will assign a reward of zero for this transition so we can represent this whole process in this form suppose at initial state s naught and agent selects an action according to the policy uh, it selects some action A0 and gets a reward R1 this again forms the R1 and S1 will form the input and agent selects an action R, uh, A1 gets a reward R2 and finds itself in a new state S2 again it takes some action and get reward R3 and finds itself in a new state S3 this will form the input and now it takes some action A3 and get a reward R4 and reaches a terminal state so now this terminal state will make transition to itself and for this transition agent will get a reward of zero okay so these are subsequent rewards r5 r6 r7 all are zero and agent will continuously make transition to itself so this is spatial terminal state which is known as absorbing state so now we can uh, we can have a unified notation for both the continual as well as episodic tasks so we can represent for both episodic and continuous tasks this is written in this form okay and now we can write a unified notation where for episodic task after uh, once this t plus k plus 1 uh, reaches this t terminal state the subsequent rewards will be 0 after that 
and for the continual task this equation is as usual. So for both continual as well as episodic task we are having a unified notation for the return. So this is our return for both episodic and continual task. So this thing already I mentioned the time state T need not represent only the time steps it represents any particular state of decision making. So everything in this reinforcement learning is reference with the step of decision making. So this is very simple proof uh, that expected return is a finite value by introducing the discounting parameter. Suppose we select the maximum reward value and now we assign agent the maximum reward for each step and we multiply with gamma so as you can see this term will be always less than this term and this and the sum of this term is just 1 over 1 minus gamma times m and this is finite because m is less than infinity and gamma is less than 1 in case of continual task and case of episodic task k is finite so by finite k for episodic task I mean that reward is non-negative up to a certain step that is terminal state and after that the reward is continuously zero so this sum will always be less than infinity so hence we prove that uh, this will always this will always be finite with discounting so now comes the markup property and markup states so consider situation that the probability of transition to next state s dash and the reward R this is dependent on all the prehistory state ST action AT and all the prehistory so what this means is that suppose you are in state ST and you are selecting a particular action or decision AT okay and now the effects of this action that is the transition to next state and the resulting reward this is dependent on all the prehistory okay so the effects of an action taken in state depends on the prehistory. And now consider another situation where the probability of next state as dash and reward R is dependent only on the state and a particular action in that state. So what this equation denoting is that suppose you are in state ST and you select a particular action or make a decision AT. So the effect of this action or this decision is dependent only on the present state and not on the prehistory. Okay. So the effects so these are the effects that is next there is transition state that is transition state is as dash and the reward is R so the effect of an action taken in state depends on the state only and not on the prehistory so when both these equations are equal when this equation equal to this equation then we say the Markov property is satisfying or the pre or that state is known as a Markov state and the decision process is known as a Markov decision process so what Markov decision process says that in a particular state the effects of an action taken in the state is dependent only on that state and not on the prior history so this is a very brief description of Markov decision process we will deal with the Markov decision process uh, and uh, partially observe Markov decision process in the upcoming lectures so as I already mentioned we will deal with this issue in the upcoming lectures so the Markov decision processes are denoted by four uh, by four variables: set of all possible states, that is S; set of all possible actions, that is A; T A S S dash, uh, denoting the probability that you will make a transition to state S dash, you uh, provided you are in state S, and you took an action A. That is, when you taking an, uh, when you are in state S, you are taking uh, you are taking a particular action A and making a transition to s dash so the probability that you will make a transition to s dash is denoted by this p a s s dash and likewise you are in state s you took an action a and you make a transition to a new state s dash so the expected value of the reward that you will get is denoted by r a s s dash so now comes the value functions and uh, let me give you a very brief a uh, description about the Markov decision process suppose you are driving a vehicle and suppose uh, you divide it in a particular uh, time steps A, B, C, D, E, F up to Z and in a particular state E suppose your vehicle is having a velocity V and uh, steering at an 